Hi, dyslexic genius here, Brad Hurt. What I'm going to talk about is taking the pin out of an early automatic reproducer like this. And this one has some issues. So if, if you look at it from side to side, you're going to notice that we have high threads here and we have low threads here. On automatics, you should be able to grab this and turn it. Someone has cross-threaded this. And you can see that it tilts in here. So that means it's cross-threaded. This won't come apart. So to get the weight out, the stylus comes up and there's a little bitty pin with a taper that just slips into that hole. But sometimes this pin here that holds the weight in place doesn't want to budge because somebody's probably forced it. But years ago, I built this tool only for getting out that pin. So first you, you take a small punch and you punch it out. And punch then I what out? punched on the pin till it gets flush here. And then you add this one here. And then I take this tap I had and I ground it down just for this. And now I always get my angel to tap for me. And if she'll get the hammer and, and do a little tappy tap, not that one, honey. Angel, you're getting close, but we need a smaller hammer. Okay, that one. Now we're going to tap the top of that. There we go. And the pin comes in. Okay. Yeah, the pin comes out. Just a minute. There we go, and the pin comes out. I drilled this hole so the pin will bottom out like that and you won't lose it inside the shaft here. This is two drill sizes I made. And you should put all this into a magnetic bowl. Now what I have to do, I have to do is that the center holder for the mica diaphragms come loose. And you see how shiny that diaphragm is? Yeah. Somebody's put oil on it. See how? Oh. Oh. Somebody has really boogered this thing up. And what you have to do is you have to hold this part of the reproducer to get to this part of the reproducer. And on my next video, I'm going to show you how to clamp onto this and onto this to get it apart without marring it. Because early in its life, you see those lines? Somebody grab that with a pair of pliers. It'll be all the way over the other side. Oh, we have to, oh. And now you're going to need a lathe to get this apart. But I'm going to show you how to get it apart. And you can see here, this ring here screws into the body. And this is the centerpiece here is loose. It won't make any sound. That's because they cross-threaded this piece. And on this early stuff, you know, 1898 or so, maybe a little after, it gets tricky. And that's my tip for the day.